Seems like I'm on creative writing 405 again. So maybe this is going to be a flow of them for all I know. Um, my voice is a little low tonight, so I'm not sure if that's uh, because I've been staying up really late trying to do these stupid readings or uh, because I just went out to dinner with a friend and had a glorious, gloriously interesting meal at a wonderful Bavarian chalet uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. It was just, it was actually in Glendale. It was like, wow, this is unbelievable. You have to go to Bavaria for this, don't you? Nope. Anyway, it was really, really nice. This one's called Hobson's Choice. And there is a Hobson's if you'd like to look him up on YouTube. There was such a man. Smoothly darting through the snow-capped mountains, a sleek, slivered, bellied eagle drifted, seeking to envelop the unknown. Suddenly, facing the reality of imperfection, as imperfect as the mortal sons of God, upon the farewell bed when there's no turning back. Unable to prevent crashing, the coldness of the frozen peak drawing nearer, nerves grasping spines as sap clings to its barks. No hope of future existence Lives floor breaking, opening like the ground of an earthquake, mouths whispering repentance, eyes closed awaiting the final moment. Stillness comes. Stillness comes. But then, shockingly, a live piercing the stillness, shrieking sounds of death, agony filled the air endlessly. Slowly starving vultures, unfed, deteriorating bones, freezing, covered with frail, scaling skin, belly against back. empty, slipping daily, oblivion nearing, desperate nutrition, haunting, desiring breath above conscience, 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 digesting life, sustaining protein, living, to thank God for all. Certainly we should, shouldn't we? Be glad for every breath we take. Good, bad, ugly, indifferent, somewhat death-defying. We should thank whoever it was, the maker of this mess, that we got to experience it. And what comes next will probably even be more exciting. Yay!